se espera que estos precintos cierren en tan solo en menos de dos horas. Quiero mostrarles, justo detrás de mí ha empezado a hacerse un poquito de cola, el tráfico está bastante lento hasta ahora. Autoridades también recomiendan a los residentes que estén pendientes de los medios de comunicación, al igual que de las redes sociales de los condados. In addition to the sidewalks, the organization also hopes to implement speed limit signs and street lights. Once they're done with the interviews, these tapes will be sent to the Library of Congress, where they will become part of the National Archives. Gracias, Lidia. Así es, me encuentro en la pequeña Colombia, al norte de Armenia, en Tampa. La mayoría de la gente que está aquí forman parte de grupos activistas. Ahora mismo hay como unas 20 personas, pero esperan que llegue más gente a medida que llegue la hora del debate a las 9 de la noche. Así es, me encuentro en el centro de Leglen, a tan solo un par de horas de la costa, donde se espera que pase el huracán. Matthew. Antes que nada quería mostrarles, detrás de mí pueden ver algunas de las camas temporales, ya que este, en este lugar van a estar los equipos de búsqueda y rescate. Las controversias y las contradicciones entre los líderes republicanos y Donald Trump no parecen afectar sus eventos. Miles de personas llegaron a Lakeline alabando a Donald Trump, criticando a Hillary Clinton y acosando a los medios de comunicación. Mira, los últimos detalles, Lidia, que hemos estado eh, obteniendo son eh, los nombres de las víctimas. Como hemos mencionado antes, la ciudad de Orlando ha puesto una página web que en un minuto se les voy a mencionar, pero antes queríamos hablar sobre las víctimas e identificarlos. In a few years, these sisters could be playing in two languages. Today's society in general, you need to understand other cultures, even if it's not something you're going to experience every day. You need to know what's going on in the world, and language is one of the easiest ways. The oldest, Alice, is going to be one of 36 students in the new dual language program at Bellamy Elementary. So I'm going to be using Spanish as a tool to be teaching them curriculum. I'm going to be teaching reading, writing, math, science. Meanwhile, next door, another teacher will do the same in English. Not only will they be able to strengthen their first native language, but then they're going to start learning and acquiring this second language. Once a day, the students will exchange classes. Those who started their day in Spanish will move to the English classroom to finish their lesson. Our goal is for them to be biliterate students, so they'll be able to read, write, speak, and listen everything in both languages. A unique opportunity that parents hope will help their children's success in the future. I think that's going to help her get into better colleges, probably get better scholarships. I don't think there's any disadvantage to it at all. For this to work, half the students will be English speakers, while the other half will be Spanish dominant. Hola. In Hillsborough Hello. County, Beatriz Parres, Bay News 9. <laughs> it may seem like an aggressive sport for teenagers. We fought in a whole other state, and I fought number one in the world. We made the USA team, so it was a hard fight. <laughs> But boxing teaches them discipline in and out of the ring. Well, I don't take none of the boxing stuff in the streets. I don't get in trouble no more. Like, like I said, the boxing it helps me getting away from trouble. I second guess myself from things I used to do. All three train at Hurricane Boxing, a gym that has been helping kids stay out of trouble and do well in school for 17 years. I might not save the whole world, but if I save one of them and, and to keep them in that direction, you know, where they can um, graduate from high school, stay focused in the academics, because that's what I mostly focus on, and then boxing, I've done my job. Today, the gold belts represent hard work and dedication, a reminder to always fight for the right decision. It feels amazing because, I mean, I didn't just train hard for this, I also prepared really hard, and I beat the best out of the best. I've accomplished a dream, and, and it's just a big, I mean, it's like hitting the lotto, you know. In Tampa, Beatriz Parres, Spectrum Sports. Like in any summer camp, through games and activities, these teenagers learn the value of teamwork. I mean, I'm ecstatic. I didn't have anything like this growing up either, so just to see how joyous they are on day-to-day -day activities and just being together has been so amazing and so fulfilling. Like, I'm, I'm thrilled to be doing this. And like others, this week-long program brings together LGBTQ plus and transgender youth I don't usually get any shame here. I don't, I don't feel lesser or anything. I feel equal to everybody, which is really cool. A place where they can feel proud of their identity. When it comes to coming out, you don't know if you're going to be accepted or rejected. And so personally, if I had found a safe space, 
I would have probably dealt less with depression and that anxiety. The summer camp includes conversations about gender and sexuality in an open and safe environment. It feels great. Like going to school, it's like I can't really express myself how I would normally like want to because of the fear of people judging me. An opportunity to have fun while finding the support they might not have otherwise. In St. Petersburg, Beatriz Parres, Bay News 9.